what's up it's hannah and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here in today's video we're going to be going over some commonly asked questions by new or beginner chicken owners and i know normally people hate to ask questions like this because they feel like they're stupid or dumb questions which i hate because everyone has to start somewhere no question is a stupid question i always have my dms open on my instagram and our messenger on our facebook page and my email for y'all to always message me and ask me questions or talk to me about a certain topic whatever it may be always feel free to message me and ask me any of your questions and i'll be happy to help you if i can and I also have several videos I'm going to have linked in the description box. I have a full chick care guide. <laughs> the ducks are coming in here, so I'm sorry if they're kind of loud. I have a full chick care guide that I'll have linked in the description box where I talk about feed, bedding, waters, all that kind of stuff for your baby chicks. I also have a video talking about getting into hatching and breeding chickens. And I'm currently working on a step-by-step -step guide to hatching chicks yourself. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to see more of my future videos. And if you have on the post notifications, let me know that you do down in the comments for a chance to win a notification shout out at the end of one of my videos. Okay, so the first one is do you have to have a rooster for your hens to lay eggs? And that is a no. I know if you live in the city, most of the time you're not even allowed to have a rooster. And that is completely fine. You do not have to have a rooster to get eggs. A hen will produce eggs no matter what if they have a rooster or not but the eggs will not be fertile so if you have a rooster your eggs will most likely be fertilized to be able to be hatched but if you do not have a rooster your eggs are not going to be fertilized and won't hatch or won't have the ability to hatch and either eggs are completely fine to eat fertile or not fertile are roosters chickens um people get confused over like the different terms of chickens so you have chickens which are referred to as like all chickens that's kind of like saying um horses or dogs like that's just like the bird like itself it's a chicken and then you have roosters which are males over the age of a year old. You have hens, which are females that are over the age of a year old. Then you have pullets and cockles. Pullets are hens under the age of one, so those are females. And then you have cockerels, which are the roosters under the age of one. You have chicks, which are just baby chickens. <coughs> Most people think that all hens will want to hatch babies out, which is not true. You have certain breeds that will go broody, which means they'll want to sit and hatch eggs out. But most of your high production egg layers will not want to sit on eggs. And then you have other breeds that can be decent egg layers, but that will also love to be good mamas and hatch out babies. In my experience, my Cochin and Silky Bantams have been really great mamas. And then I've also had some Buff Orpingtons that have also been really good mamas. It just kind of depends on their breed. And the next one is chicken wire being the go-to wire for your chicken coop. Chicken wire is great for chickens. It will keep chickens in an enclosed area, but chicken wire is not good for keeping predators out of your chicken coops. Chicken wire is not going to keep out like a fox or a dog or something like that. I prefer to use the two x four welded wire on my chicken runs. And you can also use the hard cloth or like welded mesh but you can even use it on just like your chicken coop part and not your run the squares are really really tiny the next one is if buckets or hanging waters are better for your chickens water and i personally prefer buckets in my experience the hanging waters if they are not perfectly level they will leak so bad or they'll leak completely and your chickens won't have any water the buckets are a little bit easier to clean and take care of i do use the automatic waters for my chicks but I do not hang them. I just put them on bricks or something, making sure that they are level. I personally do not like to have any type of bedding in my chicken runs. I like to have bedding in the chicken coop and in the nesting boxes, but I like the run to be dirt. That way your chickens can dust bathe. And I like to put down diatomaceous earth and wood ashes in the dirt because that will help prevent mites and lice getting on your chickens when they dust their feathers in it and most people think that all chickens lay an egg every single day most people assume that if they have 10 chickens they'll get 10 eggs a day and that is not true it depends on their breed some breeds lay more than others if you have three chickens you'll probably get an egg or two a day and then a lot of the times in the winter you won't really get as many eggs or egg production will stop completely 
And that is because a chicken needs a certain amount of daylight to produce an egg and the days are shorter in the winter time. And then a lot of the times in the fall or winter, your hens do what they call molting where they will lose all of their old feathers and grow in new ones for the winter. And it takes a lot of nutrition for them to do that. So they don't really have enough nutrition in their diet for them to be able to grow in new feathers and produce eggs. So in the winter time, it's good to provide your chickens with a high protein diet because they need a lot of protein to lay eggs, but their feathers are made out of protein also. So they need a lot of protein in the fall and winter time. When will your chicken lay their first egg or when will they begin to lay? Hens normally start to lay around six months old and this also depends on the breed as well. The earliest layer I've ever had is a white leghorn. She started laying at 17 weeks and white leghorns are some of the best egg layers. And then my silkies sometimes take close to a year before they lay because silkies are very slow maturing birds. Why do roosters crow all of the time? Um, most people think roosters only crow in the morning. Roosters do have an internal like clock for them to know when the sun is about to rise. So they will crow like as the sun is coming up, that is true. But roosters also crow to talk to other roosters. If you have multiple roosters, you will definitely have a lot of crowing because they will be crowing back and forth. They'll be very territorial over their hens. And it also lets the other rooster know and the other flock know where they are. And roosters also crow whenever a hen lays an egg because he's like proud of his hen for laying. A hen will cackle whenever she lays an egg and it's called their egg song. And then normally the rooster will start crowing after that. And roosters just crow because that's their way of singing like a songbird. So some roosters might crow more than others, but it's a normal behavior of a rooster to be crowing all the time. The next one is how long do chickens live and how long will they lay for? Chickens can live up to like 12 years, but a lot of the times when chickens die early, it's because of a predator or they got sick or something like that. But if you have them well kept away from predators and they're really healthy, they will live until they are 10 or 12 years old. And they will also lay their entire life if you feed them correctly. When they're older, they won't lay as much as when they were younger, but you will occasionally get an egg from them. But that also depends on the breed as well. How many laying boxes do you need? A laying box is where your hens will lay their eggs at, which are normally pretty small. Hens like a lot of privacy whenever they're laying. You only really need like three boxes every 12 chickens, I would say. Your chickens are not gonna lay all at the same time. And normally all of my chickens use the same nesting box anyway. I have three nesting boxes in my big chicken coop and I think I have like 15 hens in here and they pretty much only use one of the nesting boxes. Occasionally they'll use two, but most of the time they just use one. How do you get all of your chickens to go back in the chicken coop after a day of free ranging if they know where their house is and they know like where they sleep at and everything they will just go back into their chicken coop at the end of the day to go to bed some chickens are a little stubborn and they'll go decide to roost somewhere else most of the time especially like in my big chicken coop if i have my chickens out during the day they will just come back in in the evening when the sun's going down and it's time for them to go to bed the next one is when can you tell whether a chick is a hen or a rooster a lot of the times people get really aggravated with this getting chickens chicks locally but the only way to tell if a chick is a male or female from being like really little is vent sexing which is a very very difficult technique and takes a lot of practice hatcheries have professional chicken sexers that vent sex chicks and bantams you can't really sex um i know silkies you can't really order those sexed they're all straight run which means they are male and female they don't know what they are most of the time you cannot tell the difference between a hen or rooster until they are four to eight weeks old it kind of depends on the breed as well and then there are some chicken breeds where you can sex them by color i know with golden sex links the roosters are white when they're babies like yellowish white and then the pullets are are brown. A lot of people also go off of feather sexing. In my experience, I have not really had good luck with that, but I think it also depends on the breed if you feather sex. I'm not really sure. My experience, it has not worked. Right here, I have a pullet and a cockerel that are the exact same age. They are four or five weeks old now, and <laughs> I was able to tell the sex of them at about three weeks. They are very easy 
grade two sex and this is the difference you can see this is the pullet on the right and then that's the cockerel you can tell the difference in their combs and wattles cockerels is much more red and it's a lot bigger than the females and he'll also have longer tail feathers the female will kind of have the straight tail feathers and then the cockerels will look more like that on the top it'll kind of be straight up it won't kind of just be sticking out and fluffy like that one are white eggs farm fresh i know a lot of the times people don't think that white eggs are farm fresh they only think that the brown eggs are farm fresh. All eggs can be farm fresh eggs. Different breeds of chickens lay different color eggs. It just depends on the breed that you have. If you have breeds that lay white eggs or brown eggs, and there's breeds that lay blue eggs, green eggs. You've got all kinds of different colors. The last one is our chickens noisy. And for the most part, they're not noisy as far as the hens go. Even some roosters are really quiet. It just kind of depends on the breed. Some chickens are just more noisy than others. I have noticed that my coaching bantams are super quiet and laid back my orpingtons are very quiet it just kind of depends on your chicken and the personality all right y'all that was all for today's video i hope that y'all were able to find it helpful and that you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did i'll have today's notification shout out up there on the screen today's shout out goes to girl 727 and she said the calf is adorable post notifications are on i love your channel thank you so very much and the calf is adorable he looks like a little teddy bear and we love him so much. Thank you to every single one of you for all of your support. It means the world to me. I appreciate y'all so much. And I'll see y'all really soon. Bye.